Hi there, we're going to talk about analyzing rational functions. This time we're going to talk about the equations of vertical asymptotes and holes. Okay, here's a problem. Find the vertical asymptotes, if any, <clears throat> and the values of x corresponding to holes, if any, of the graph of the rational function h of x Oh, I lost my cursor. There it is. h of x equals x over x times x minus 3. Notice the denominator has already been factored for us. Uh, we have to find the numbers that have to be taken out of the domain. So I take each factor of the denominator and set it equal to 0. x equals 0 and x minus 3 equals 0. What that gives us is the numbers 0 and 3 have to be taken out of the domain. Okay, so that's the first thing we do is we find the numbers that have to be removed from the domain. However, x equals 0 and x equals 3 form different structures in our rational function, as you'll see in just a minute. The reason is that the x that gives us x equals 0 cancels out. And what we're left with is 1 over x minus 3. We're stuck with x minus 3. There's no way to get rid of it. So x minus 3 is going to give us the equation x equals 3, which is the equation of the vertical asymptote. x equals 0, on the other hand, is where our hole is located. And a hole is really a hole. It's a point of discontinuity. That is, it's where the line is not continuous, the graph is not continuous. Now we're going to look at this. This is what the graph lo looks like. You have these two parts of the graph broken up by x equals 3. Remember, x cannot equal 3. Well, x cannot equal 0 either but it doesn't form an asymptote because it cancels out. That is, x cannot equal 0 either because x equals 0 cancels out. Therefore, it just forms a little point of discontinuity. It's an open circle. So that this arm of our graph of the rational function has a hole in it, an empty circle whereas this arm does not. But it's the vertical asymptote that separates the graph into two separate arms because there cannot be a point that has x equals 3 in it. Okay, now if you explore the hole a little more, you find out that where this hole is located on the graph is at the point x equals 0, yes, but 0 negative one-third right there. And that's the story of our first homework problem asking about holes and asymptotes. Remember, almost all rational functions have vertical asymptotes, but they do not all have holes. You only have a hole if one of your factors cancels out. We're going to be talking about this a whole lot more. Talk to you later. Bye.